Hello and welcome back to what it is almost certainly, hopefully, the end of uh, Strange Fate, uh, Mysterious Fate of Unwitter. Un 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 Unwitter, thank you. Uh, yes, as we, uh, as we join our heroes delving deeper into the bowels of the ship, pursued by aggressive uh, mobsters and haunted by assassin robots. By deadly assassin robots. Chloe yes. is uh, is still bleeding, uh, though she has been uh, bandaged up, and uh, your tiny company is you know crawling deeper and deeper into the uh, into the bowels of the ship. And as you go, uh, you uh, you know you start hearing the sounds of like skittering and uh, like metal feet moving on metal, and you actually start hearing the sounds of battle from from back uh, the way you came as the uh, other group. Uh, runs into the assassins on their own. Mm -hmm. roll, oh, and they're uh, still roll, coming after? Roll stealth, yeah. Oh, they're not giving up on you that easily. Fuck, why? It's so weird and schizophrenic, my rolls. They, they're either shit or good. <laughs> and it's always it's only one to do one dice rolls shit, and the other one rolls well. Whew. Or the, yeah, it's a weird one. Um, and I'm really I'm, good. I'm, Six fifteen. Twenty three. Twenty three. Hey. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Okay. Twenty three and twenty three. That's uh, that's pretty good. Um. Yeah. So, uh, you uh, you both uh, yeah, like the and the scabs rolled all right as well. So everybody is uh, so your group is moving along at a pretty good quiet pace, as you uh, you know slip through the uh, the ship and behind you, you hear the sounds of like fighting and and. Battle. Wow, we won't even have to do. <laughs> yeah. uh, until you eventually find your way to uh, you, you head up through this uh, big, you know, area and find yourselves eventually reaching up to the bridge. Uh, and the bridge of the ship is in terrible repair. Like it looks like half the consoles here exploded. There's a, you know, like part of the uh, the, you know, main uh, like viewport has been blown in. Uh, you know, like the uh, there's no apparent power, but the engineers are like, all right, we we got this. We'll set up power supply. We, we get this working. You you secure perimeter. Make sure make sure we uh, get no surprises. Yes, will do. All right. Okay, how do you want to try and set up your defenses? Um, how many entrances are there? Uh, there is one, there are two main entrances and one entrance that was created by you know essentially the part of the ship collapsing. Uh, okay. That is the largest one, but it's also the least convenient to get down through. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. So, can I? I I'd like to uh, it's, go talk to the to the bodyguard scab. He's not like doing anything. No, he's um, uh, he's yeah, like, he's holding just... a like a bit of like a metal. Uh, like cudgel and you know, kind of just keeping an eye out. Yeah. Um. So Ronnie's gonna talk to him. He's gonna be like, "All right, do you know how to use that welding torch that they have with them?" Uh, he it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, yeah, he looks at it and he goes, "I think I can work it out." Yes. Okay. I'd like to seal off the two easy to get entrances. And then we're all gonna guard the harder to get to entrance. All right, seems seems like good plan. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, so what you do is you take go... all the furniture. <laughs> we're gonna go and guard the other two entrances while you work on one of them, and then once you finish that one and start working on the other one. Chloe's gonna come, and, or one of us, whoever was guarding that one, is gonna go and stand by the door, and we're just gonna keep all the bases covered like that. Okay, makes sense. Yes. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you uh, you all move into position. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, is there any way to do a sneak attack, uh, if at all possible? Also, I'm assuming that I don't have my spear anymore. So, yeah. Yeah, you probably dropped it. And uh, n uh, yes, there is. It, it basically allows you to go first in combat and do, like, essentially free damage. Okay. Um, do you want to try and set up an ambush? 
Uh, yes. Just so which, if anyone tries to go yeah. out of the... Okay, thing. which entrance are you playing on ambushing? Um, probably the one with the scav, just so I can get the drop on them and, and you okay, know. On. The, the, the one, all right, there's the one. The, the one scav where is the scav sealing. is trying to sealing on, yeah. Okay. All right, I'd say we, we label that one A, the other one that's easy to enter is B, and the one that was made by the split is C. Okay, yeah. so for the so record, entrance a, a would be the one that's least likely to have someone come through because he's actually okay. sealing it. Uh, okay. Entrance B is the most convenient one, and entrance C is the one that uh, is the largest and most difficult to actually properly seal. Okay. Mm -hmm. B then. Okay, so in that case, uh, you were on. So in that case, uh, Ronnie is on entrance C. Yeah. Okay. So as uh, as he starts working, uh, he actually seems to be doing a great job of it. He's like really doing a great <laughs> job. He like, rolls so. really well again. Um. <laughs> There, you, you hear the slight sound of skittering, and two assassin droids leap from, uh, drop down from entrance C. Oh, that's great. Hell, oh, great. <laughs> um, they they are like they are losing their initial fast reaction time abilities because of the fact that they're basically dropping in, so they're automatically going at the bottom of the order, because uh, C is yeah. a shitty entrance. But, boom, you know, two right. assassin droids drop in. Roll initiative. Okay. Oh boy. Do I have to roll or? Yes, yeah. Every, every rolls. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Do I not automatically go first? You, you will both. You'll automatically go before them. Okay. You, you weren't uh, like if they came through entrance B, you would automatically go first. But okay, you were, makes sense. Yeah, you were you were ambushing at the wrong entrance. Okay, thirteen is is my total for initiative roll. So I essentially get a free roll, and then I get put into the initial order, right? Yes. Okay. Mine is also 13. Okay. So 13, 13. Uh, the engineers are not going to be engaging the fighting. And, uh, okay, and then the... So... Okay. So, so basically, so you guys rolled the same thing? Yeah. Okay, so then... I think so. Yes. So Ronnie and uh, Ronnie and uh, and uh, Chloe, Chloe uh, go, and then the bodyguard goes, and then the assassins. Nice. Okay, you have two grenades remaining. Oh, worth keeping in mind. And the grenades oh. will, if you do it right, the grenades. You, this would be more of a thrown thing, but if you throw the grenade and succeed, you can blow up. You can damage both of them. Um, you can also damage the entrance, right? Yes, in the, uh, in the causing it to collapse first or campaign, it so it's easier to get in. in the first campaign, um, it was said that he had actually gotten three more grenades. No, no, I know. Yeah, like basically, you refill your grenade stock to three when you go out. Okay. So basically, awesome. you're you were at the maximum of three. You use one. You're down to two. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. So they've just dropped down. Yes, they That's just dropped down. Right yeah, now? and they're they're like reorienting themselves as they uh, slowly stand up. Okay. Then. Um. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna try and do the same thing I'd done previously. Okay, I would say just just throwing it this time because again they're both uh, yeah, bundled right, up. Yeah, right. Yes. Yeah. Just throwing so, it. So yeah, roll demolitions plus agility, or sorry, plus hand eye. Okay. Don't choke. Don't choke, really. Obviously, you could use a GFP for damage, by the way, if you succeed. Sixteen. 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 Uh, 16 total? Yes. Okay, so they're going to try and dodge out of the way this... Well, that's not going to do it. That's not going to do it. <laughs> so they, they try and dodge out of the way, but it doesn't actually work for them this time. And uh, <laughs> the grenade... Boom. Like, the grenade goes, you know, wham! And, you know, uh, like, just sends, like, stuff everywhere. Roll damage. Uh, uh, 2d12. Uh, yeah. Six and a ten, so Double. sixteen. 
Holy shit, nice. You, like, literally did just enough to cripple them. <laughs> so, so both assassin droids are, like, blasted to the side, and let's find out how they were damaged. Uh, the first one... Uh, let me... Let me find the... Oh, boy. Oh, boy, Lucky Ted. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh... Okay, crippled body parts. Um, the fuck is. God damn it, why does. Oh. And. Heal. Why is it dark? Why do my mate. Arch. Burb. Blub. Okay, so. I keep on thinking it should be have its own section, but it doesn't have its own section. It's just part of healing because it's only because it's a really short rule. Okay. Anyway, so yeah. So uh, let's find out where they get blown up. Let's uh, find out where they are where they are damaged. Okay. Um. Okay. Carte blah blah. Does blue one health. Supercar health. Six all rolls. Wait. Where did I? Oh god, right, it's critical. Fuck me, god damn it. Why? Uh, I'm just coldly falling apart here. Just completely, uh, completely falling apart. Critical. Oh yeah, and by the way, re remember if you ever roll doubles, let me know because there are special rules for doubles. Yeah, I haven't done that yet. Yeah, I neither have I, but. Um, um, is that like any roll? On, on any 2d10. Two tens or no. two ones. Okay. Because yeah. I've rolled some doubles with. Like for psi abilities, but that yeah, was no, that's, yeah, so. like that, yeah, that's a bit different. It's cool. Okay, so finally found it after taking way too goddamn long. But okay, so the first, uh, the first, oh man, the first assassin robot's arms are crippled as the explosion, uh, like badly damages them. Mm hmm. It's like when arms are damaged. <laughs> oh, this fight's gonna be a lot easier. There's no, there's no way for it to fight. Yeah, I mean, like, they can still use it, but like they're they're at a serious disadvantage. Um, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so yeah, they're they're at a minus twelve to trying to hurt you because of, <laughs> to, to oh. you because of these uh, these crippling blows. Because they're they've been reduced down to the point where they're like like staggered and like bleed and they would be bleeding out if they were human. They're obviously not. Uh, but you know they're they're damaged to the point where they're not functioning properly, and their arms have are like dangling at their sides, basically non-functionally. So, yeah, they're they're basically when they attack you, they're going to be like awkwardly swinging their malfunctioning arms at you. <laughs> um, yeah, fuck, fuck, wow, um, that was a really good grenade. Um, okay, so yeah, um, was bang, Jesus. Okay, so um, bang. Over to, um, next in the order is... Oh, it's, it's also Chloe. You guys got to the same time. Yeah. So, after this massive fucking explosion, huh? Yeah. Um, any way I can, you know... Oh, well, you could, like, run and, like, slam them. You could, uh... You know, you could... What are the combat maneuvers that I have at my disposal? Well, why you... Section F, is that a, uh, I think it's called combat maneuvers. Or, uh, combat. Offen offensive abilities. Or offensive moves. Oh. Hold on, I'll look mm -hmm. it up in the index. I'll look it up in the index. Because um, they're all in the index. Uh, offensive actions. Uh, offensive actions. Under, under this <laughs> section, just labeled combat. So you want me to be racist? <laughs> No, I made that same mistake myself. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> acting without prejudice, acting with prejudice means you just, <laughs> just kill all of them. Um. Okay. All right. So there's grappling. There's flurry of attacks by do sacrificing any defensive actions for the turn. An attacker can uh, can take two attacks. Both suffer a minus three penalty to hit. If the character. Uh, choices to continue this and all this out next turn the penalty res okay and then there's steady aim brutal assault throws caution to the wind and attempt to simply beat their foes into submission with a series of crushing melee or brawling attacks it requires 1d10 plus uh, you spelled muscle wrong 
uh, roll with the target of nine, but if passed, any defensive roll made against their subsequent close combat attack suffers a penalty equal to half the character's muscle attribute rounded up. However, due to the relentless nature of the combat style, the character cannot use any other defensive actions other than stand firm or desperate in, uh, counter without first giving up the advantages of brutal assault in their own attack turn. And then force opening. Okay, so... Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Uh, I, you know, I'll just do flurry of attacks. Yeah, I mean, can do, I, do, they, can they I also, split the they, flurry they, they, between the two of them? Yes, or, you can. Yes. Also, okay. keep in mind they, they they have been crippled. They are like below. They're zero below. They also have. Uh, they also have, uh, uh, like, failed a dodge roll. So their their next attack turn is going to be horrifically bad. Yeah, okay. Then I'll use a flurry of attacks on them. Yeah, okay. And then split and then split that between two of them. Okay. So oh. I do one damage, uh, one attack, and then another attack on yeah. the other. Yeah. All right. So That's I get a minus three. three penalty to hit. Yeah. Uh, both. And I have to roll both of those, right? Yes. So, I, and then, do I add my cybernetic legs thing or no? No, this is this is purely right. you slashing at them. Cool, yeah. So that's eighteen for one of them, and that oh, that was a good one. So total failure, and you know, that was a good roll, but even with all the penalties, I don't know if it'll be enough. What did you roll? And it, okay, so, uh, wait, hold on. Oh, sorry. 17 for the first one, and then 26 for the second one. Yeah, even with a really good roll, that is not going to be enough to stop that second attack. Not with the penalties. So, yeah, okay, you hit them. You hit both of them. Okay, and then I roll my damage for both. Well, I don't have to roll. Yeah, you're it. just using your cybernetic weapons. So, uh, so that's a uh, 11 for both. Damn, okay, yeah, so they're badly injured. Like, both of them are, both of them are on sort of their last leg. Uh, now, unfortunately, you don't have uh, like you don't really have a lot of people to take advantage of this, but the the bodyguard's going to try and finish one of them off. And that's a good hit. And then, okay, yeah. So he runs over and is like, you like Chloe, like so. Basically, what happens here is Ronnie throws a grenade. It <laughs> blows up. Both the assassins go sprawling. As they start getting up, Chloe leaps past and does like a double slash, like tearing through both of them as she dives through. And then as they <laughs> stagger, the scab bodyguard runs for with his, uh, like, makeshift blade and, like, just chops one of their heads off. And the <laughs> robot, you know, starts sparking, twitching, and falls to the ground. <laughs> and, then he, and then he goes back to his... Um, his... <laughs> he runs back to his original position. <laughs> yeah, and he starts, uh, uh, like, he starts um, like, welding again. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's uh, yeah, he's like, well, he's helping you out with this one because he's like, yeah, fuck Jesus. But yeah, as soon as the fight is over, he's going to run back and finish his job. Uh, yeah. But um, first, the, assa the remaining assassins attack, and no, that's a that's a zero. That is below zero. He, oh my god, fuck, that was a double. So the <laughs> second assassin, who has been blown up, slashed, uh, is crippled, runs for it, and is like, fuck it, I'm gonna try anyway. And as he runs for it, he fucking, like, bumbles. Uh, and now, admittedly, a failed bumble is actually a good thing. So what he does is he basically lunges forward and he trips. But as he trips, he goes kind of pinwheeling past you. And he's going to have a little bit of an advantage dodging because he's just moving really quickly as he, <laughs> as he staggers around the room. <laughs> Is this how this robot's going to survive? It's just going to stumble around like, oh out of our God. reach? <laughs> Here I go, bumbling all over the place. Whoa. So back wow. to the top of the order, it's Ronnie. Okay. Chloe. Back to you at the same time. Uh, now, your um, abilities won't help you against this thing, but you can just shoot it. True. Yeah. Actually, he does have a gun with him. Okay. Just pull out your gun. Pop it. Yeah, all right. Going to try and shoot this dude. Okay, roll. Uh, what do I need to roll for uh, that? 2d10 plus your, your hand eye plus your gun skill. 
18 plus 5 is 23, and no gun skills, so just 23. Okay, 23 total. Uh, mm-hmm. That's not going to be enough to dodge. Roll damage. Oh, what is the damage for a gun? Uh, for a pistol, it's on the size of a gun. Yeah, I think yeah it was again. just like a pistol. Uh, they, they handed it to us when we got to the compound. I mean, a small gun, so I think that's a 2D, 2D no, wait, hold on. Uh, 1D6, I think. Hold on, let me see. Guns! Small gun, small guns! Pew, 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 2d6. 1d6 one, uh, one of stun, so 2d6 damage. Six. Okay, yet yeah, again, with Chloe having already run these fuckers asunder. Uh, that is enough, and the, the second robot, like, as much as it was flailing around like a big old hero, you, you shoot it in the back and it just flops over. The scab bodyguard. Oh. Yeah, it's like, huh. I'll be honest, I was expecting much more from them. Yeah, yeah, so was I. Anyway, get back to sealing yes, that door. Yes. <laughs> uh, and the engineers are, are still working, and they're like, right, I think we've got it almost. Hold on, the you know, doing their thing. The uh, the engineer, the bodyguard finishes welding the door, and uh, it's like, all right, I'm going over and hitting the other one. And just as he starts running over and starts doing the other one, you hear a slam on the door, on the first door. And he looks over and he's like, oh, no, that'll hold, it'll hold. Runs over, starts sealing the other door. Uh, but as he yeah. does so, you hear this loud renting sound, and suddenly these two sets of metal claws rip through the door. Um, ah. Darn it. <laughs> and start to pull apart, like just slowly start like ripping open. And he looks at them and he's like, that's impossible. Those those, those robots can't do that. It's just strong. Not a robot. Um okay. So could I make a shield like on the other side of the door and therefore like make it so that the person stops clawing through the door and you instead is use your shield, shield to try and, uh, and, and block some of the damage but your shield isn't that strong like it's, it's a okay. pretty, yeah like these are mostly a psionic shield that has a light amount of like defense yeah. so probably wouldn't be the best use of it you could yeah, try no, uh, like uh, using your psi hand to like push it back but this this thing is strong yeah I didn't I didn't think that it would be able to yeah, probably your best option here would be, like, just prepare to start shooting. Fair, yeah. Alright, um... I'm gonna do it... He still has the, um... The pistol. Yeah. And he's ready to throw another... His last grenade. That's a good... That's a good decision. Because what happens is the, uh... The door, like... Like... Like, the, like these two giant holes have been run through the door. And the claws, like, leave and then come back in and start... Crying, and you see, you see the Aluru. You see the Aluru you met back in the office. Okay. Uh, the big red Aluru. Um. Uh, her her like nice suit is gone, and she's like, like just like you can see that her arms are not normal arms. Like she has huge metal cybernetic arms. Yeah. That are like engraved all over with like, you know, tribal symbols and stuff, and she is just ripping through the door like it's tissue paper. Yeah. Is there, like, a space above her head? In yes, the... yeah. All right. Run and throw <laughs> the grenade into that so that it explodes in the hallway and, you know, pushes them all against walls and stuff. And okay. Pushes them. Does... <laughs> I, I would say pushing is probably the least of <laughs> Well, you know, just yeah, in good, general. Yeah, yeah, when I stab good. someone, it's really good at... Uh, I'm letting the pressure out of the <laughs> Throw it. <laughs> See what happens. Okay, so it's 2d10, and then... Ugh. I really um, want to shoot them to make them make noise. <laughs> um, And then it's... Demolition and hand eye? Yes. 10, 9, 23. Twenty-three. Um, let's see what happens. 
Uh. When you say that, are you asking for what the uh, damage well, well, is? Yeah, I'm seeing if, like, the damage is up. No, okay. So roll damage. So, um, yeah, they, they're too busy tearing through the door to, to like, really react when you throw a grenade in. Yeah. All right. Two eights is 16. 16? Yeah. And it's double two eights. Jesus. Okay. Uh, so, so, so 16? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it, the the double only counts if it's a a e quote unquote critical fail and or, or a, a critical a pass. Yeah. E yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and it's and it's only when you're rolling. Like if you rolled the throw and you got two ones, then it would okay. have been a fumble. Yeah. Or if you rolled two tens, then it so, would have been. Fumble. So it's pretty good. Like she's actually she like so she's wearing like. Like, she, her shirt's gone, but, like, she's got, like, this big metal plate that you now see, like, on her, like, chest. And, like, it absorbs a bunch of the damage, but, like, it still, like, rips into her. And, like, all around the, like, all around her armor place, like, where her, where her clothes were normally covering up her, you know, still fleshy body, uh, she starts, like, getting peppered with shrapnel shards. Okay. Uh, and she, you know, <laughs> screams in pain and then, like, just punches through the thing and like rips the door in half and mm. starts like walking in and you see like there are no other Luru with her like she's the last one but she oh. is fucking huge and she yeah, is that's, like that's why I had thrown it into the hallway if there were anyone else, anyone else with her red yeah, she, <laughs> she looks at you and you know hisses white we will continue <laughs> we are gonna continue this no armor she, she looks at, at Ronnie. He's like, what about that one? Leave her be. Just between us two. D but if Ronnie just... <laughs> Ronnie's just like holding his pistol ready to shoot and is thoroughly confused. So, don't attack her. Don't attack. Okay. The big Focus riddle. on anything else. It the comes riddle. in through the doors. The riddle the then like reaches up, grabs the like buckle on her plate armor, you know, snaps it and just throws it to the oh. side. There's like, a heavy smashing sound as the yeah. armor slams into the thing and she stands up like up with like her body uncovered, her giant like yeah. cybernetic arms flexing, giant claws extending. Oh, I, I'm going to do the same. Although it's not as impressive, but it's a, a reprisal of the same scene where, you know, the markings all over both of our bodies. Yeah, you flip off, oh, flick off the, your coat, goes fluttering away in the wind, revealing, like, your uh, your tribal uh, tattoos and, like... I get rid of my, my vest and... Yeah. I'm covered in bandages and, yeah. like... <laughs> She, uh, like, you know, slowly starts advancing and goes, you, you look like you've been through hell. Same. <laughs> it's gonna be nothing compared to what I do to you after I, after, you know, like, after I tear your arms off. <laughs> or I'm gonna do to your little, you know, like, your little Federation toy. I'm not a toy. Are you sure I can't shoot her? No. Shooting. Uh, yeah. So, um, <laughs> roll initiative. All right. Yeah. Okay, I rolled decently on that initiative. Okay. Oh, I almost, oh, God. I almost did an 84 instead of an E plus 4. So, 1d10 one, one plus your, uh... 20. 20. Okay, you go first. Wait, 1d10? Yeah, 1d10 plus your... Uh, Just 1d10? Yeah, plus... Oh, your, I yeah. thought it was 2d10. No, no, no. 1D10. We oh, okay. I've been rolling 2d10. God damn it. You, why? Why would you say this to me oh. now? Instead of before. I've not... I, I, I've been, I, I mentioned it every time you played... Well, um, every single time you played low grab, I always assumed it was 2d10. Oh, uh, you were one d ten plus your uh, sixteen then. Sixteen. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're still going first. You're, it's you yeah. then. Uh, the, so I feel bad, but oh, that's okay. That's really fine. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, so it's Chloe. Mm-hmm. Yes. Chloe. Then. Uh, then. Uh, swole. Swole. Monstar. Uh, boss's kid. 
uh, then Ronnie. Boss! Uh, and then Bodyguard, uh, though he's not really, he's also going to not get involved for right now. Brother! Uh, brother! <laughs> so yeah, she, she kind of like, you know, like, flexes her, her fingers and her arms and she goes, like, you're, we don't need you here. You're causing more problems than you're fixing, and you're going to, and we're going to get, like, and that's why you're getting, but little, little, you're causing more problems than you're solving. You're, you know, you're disrupting a system that never needed you in the first place. It's the problem with you, with White Aluru. You never learn. You never change with the times. My favorite part is that she's making this big speech, and then, and then Chloe just goes. Uh, and then Chloe just goes, fucking fuck off, Red, and then the leaps at her. Just, it's, it's like that. <laughs> yeah, and I'm going, I'm going to, um, to use a, a GFP for this. Okay. Uh, I mean, why not? Yeah, Obviously. This, is, this is pretty good time to do so. Mm -hmm. I, I still have two more GFPs to use I'm after this. I'm going to my dice because I keep on rolling nines and, t like nines and tens and that's like, it's going to make this fight super fucking brutal, like more so than I wanted to. I want you to have a chance of actually succeeding at this. Because you have. Okay. Yeah, I never roll this well unless I'm, like, unless I'm DMing, in which case it's not good. <laughs> And then you start rolling really well on there anyway. So. Well, I rolled pretty well, but not like as extraordinarily well. And then that's a plus 10, so 32. All right. Uh, yeah, so she tries to dodge, and uh, like, but, but like as she moves, like she moves fast for a big girl, but like you're still like getting in and you slash her. Okay, and then I, that's 11 damage then. Yeah. Um, Fucking gut the shit out of her. Fuck you. Yeah, so you, like, slash her, and she takes, uh, she actually reduces it somewhat because of the fact that she dodged, uh, but because you still slash her anyway, she, uh, is also at a severe penalty on her attack. Mm -hmm. Good. And then it's her, right? Yeah, um, yeah, unless, um, let me check this thing. Oh, good, post. Yeah, then it's, it's her turn, so, um, she hisses and like raises both her hands and does like a two-handed slam on you. Uh, <laughs> she's, is, is she fighting the gore? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. She, yeah, she's like she like raises both her hands above her head, and, like smashes them down at you, like a big old crushing blow. Oh, I just hey, fun fact: I, I, I just bumbled. Oh boy, um, two uh, ones. Two ones. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> two ones. Oh, oh boy, lucky Ted. So. Uh, so, the, it, it, wait, that's not an instant fail. Come on, no, I have to no, add up my other shit. You can't just you can't just go. No, fuck you. You you lose. No, no, no you're, uh, you're right. Okay, that's a total of fifteen. Okay, but she I did bump. Uh, what, what did yeah. you roll as? What were you rolling as a defensive action? I uh, dodge. Okay, so yeah, you're you're going to. So I, I die. In so, one hit. so she uh, brings up both her fists and smashes them down. You take sixteen points of damage. Sixteen? Yes. Oh. And she like that's, uh, smashes. Yeah, that, that's a ground. crippling blow instantly. Uh, what, how much is your total uh, health? Um, I have twenty-eight. Is my total health? Is your total well, no, thirty-two? Because, yeah. I have fourteen health, and then so because you, you go down to negative fourteen. Yeah, you, you're, in, you're in a you're in a in a wounded state. You're not crippled. Like crippled is when you like have one of your body parts. Yes, yeah. but uh, the no no no. I took half of my total health and damage. Like well over like two points over my total health and damage. Your, your total like, health is your total health when you're fully healed. Your total like it's like yes. How much is your yes? Total? You said my yeah. total. Okay, I have a positive fourteen. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, you're as my total maximum health. Okay, and okay. she did sixteen damage. Okay, yes, sorry. which means I'm at negative ten. Okay, yes. Okay, sorry. And I, she also did a crippling blow. Sorry, when, when you said twenty, when you said twenty-eight, I was like, oh, you have twenty-eight health, like positive, like when you're like positive health, like okay, no. not that big. Okay, yeah, I was, I was confused. That's it. I was confused. Okay. Yeah. So, anyway. She brings her hands down and smashes you to the ground, and like basically, you as like you you're dodging, you like throw up your arms to block her, and you feel your arms snap as you know she slams you into the ground. 
I'm rolling a lot of twos. <laughs> a negative that I get on that now? Uh, you get a negative six when attacking with your arms. When doing stuff with your arms. Boy. So you're at a negative... No. Like, like with the assassin bots, you're at a negative 12 when you're trying to slash people because you're both badly wounded and crippled in your arms. Oh, no. Um, Ronnie! No. <laughs> Chloe is, is, is very obviously dying. Uh, um, what do you do? What do? What do is... Pretty accurate. Uh, well. Oh, actually, hold on. Uh, oh, yeah, you didn't. Yeah, you rolled up one. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say like you might reduce the damage level, but no, you pulled that fumble. Uh, I yeah. rolled a. I rolled two ones. Doesn't that mean it's a positive bumble? Uh, no, double ones and double tens are, are always negative or positive. Otherwise, uh, bumble is the reverse of what you would succeed at. Uh, like so, basically, double ones is is like mm. a is like a super crit. It's like a crit fail. Double tens is a crit success. Any other bumbles is a uh, is kind of like a success with a penalty or a failure with a bonus, an upside. Hey, I'm um, okay, so to, so to, to, I failed to dodge her attack. Yes, and I had two ones. Does so, that not so, mean I get a positive? No, or is it okay. because I met a standard success? No, 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 no. no. Mm. Uh, double ones. And double tens are the exception to the bumble rule that you get the that you get essentially like a positive. Do you get the reverse of whatever you like? Like if you succeed with a bumble, you get success with a with a complication. If you fail with a bumble, you get a, a failure with a slight upside. Double ones is a failure with a complication. Double tens is success with an upside. Like the you see. I thought you. I, I thought you made that the inverse last time we no, talked no, about. No, yeah, I, I I made a mistake last time when I was uh, reading up because yeah. I forgot about the fact that like double tens and double ones are the one exception in that they are like the the crit success well, crit fail. No, you you said that if you get double ones, you get a uh, a, yeah. a, Again, a positive I'm thing ex- that happens. And then explaining get... that I made a mistake last time when I when I said that because I forgot the fact that those were like the one exception. Every other uh, every other bumble on a failure would have come with a, a compli- like a complication in your favor. Any uh, bumble on success, other bumble. How on do success. you do a bumble with? Because not if, you one roll, th- if you fail the roll, but roll doubles, you fail with the with the complication in your favor. Okay, you then I don't understand the, roll, the bumble rules. Then. Okay, let me explain this one more time. Well, I don't understand the doubles because I only uh, I assume that it only was if you get a, a ten a tens or no, ones. No, no, any that's doubles, it. any doubles at all. Double two, double three, double four, double five, double six, double seven, double eight, double nine, are normal bumbles. Double one is always a fail. Is like always a negative. Double ten is always a positive. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, so it doesn't really matter in this case. Like e- even with a, a, bu- a complication in your, in your favor, it pretty much would have just been you'd get a bonus for next round when trying to uh, defend. I'm trying to keep my brain in in my school. Yeah. So anyway, now it's Ronnie's turn. Ronnie, uh, what do you do to try and help Chloe? Um. Or do you I let Chloe think... get beaten to death? Which I no, can recommend you not. don't do. Yeah. Um. I'm going to see if I. I'm gonna shoot her. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, at first I was like, oh, try and push her away with Psy Hand, but I don't think it would be strong enough to yeah, do so. A, a bullet or a bullet would probably be. <laughs> a gun might push yeah. her away. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, you know what? Push her really it hard with shot. very small pieces of metal. <laughs> 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 um, how many shots can I get off? Uh, you can either flurry attack and shoot, or you can like try and attack multiple times uh, at a penalty, or you can just shoot her once. And uh, you can also uh, do a what is it? I think study your aim, which yeah. increases your accuracy but decreases damage. I think. Yeah. No, um, it's like uh, hold on, hold on. Dump a 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 Steady aim. A character with a ranged weapon can sacrifice a turn of attacks or prepare before a fight to take careful aim at their target. This requires a 1d10 plus senses roll with a target of 9. But if 
pass, the attacker gains a plus five to all attack rolls with their wing or ranged weapon until the end of the end of combat. Okay. Uh, you could, they you, make yeah. a dodge roll, a defensive roll, or okay. So, so flurry yeah. of attacks would be more what you're looking to do at this time if you want to like really try and lay on some hurt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, that'd be a minus three to both of your attacks, and you won't be able to make a defensive action this turn. But you know, she's pretty yeah. fixated on. Chloe, so. Well, at the very least, if she attacks, also at the very least, if she attacks you, she won't be killing Chloe this turn. Yeah, also true. Uh, and that minus three will be to the um, to both initial roll or the both damage. The, both roll? attacks, but uh, not to the damage. Okay. Um. Yeah. Sure. You know what? I'm gonna try some flurry. All right. Fire Shoot her twice. twice. Yeah. Roll them. Okay. Um, and you said it was 2d10 2D plus 10. what? Uh, plus a, uh, 2d10, uh, plus your, uh, hand eye plus your gun skill. Oh. <laughs> you roll. Okay. Uh, I just rolled two eights. Oh, okay. Um, that's going to be a success with a complication. Yeah. Uh, and then roll again. Um, well, so that's 16 plus my hand eye makes it 21 okay. and then for the second roll 3 plus 8 11 16 so 16 and 21 16 21 uh okay so she manages to oh actually hold on a second. yeah so she manages to like roll out of the way the, of the uh second shot but the first shot does hit her uh and she is going to continue to be a negative just due to the fact that she keeps on you know, getting hit while dodging. Um, but, uh, yeah, you do hit her once, so roll damage. Yeah. And the complication is that she is definitely now targeting you specifically. <laughs> like, the complication here is that, essentially, you hit her, but you hit her in such a way where she basically, like, turns her, her furious anger away from Chloe and onto you. You say this, but I'm now enraged. <laughs> Well, again, oh, wow. no, normally, yes, but again, like, because, like, specifically, uh, Ronnie rolled a complication, uh, now, like, she's like, no, kill, Jundai, murder. Well, Ten. yeah, I, I'm in range, is what I mean, which is, oh, yeah. means, since I come before both of them, mm. the next turn round, oh, I, I, know. I will I'm be immediately saying, like, attacked. Even if you yeah. attack her, like, unless you roll a complication as well, okay. like, her attention is now focused on Ronnie. Bad. Yeah. Um, Thanks, Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> Take a bullet. Also. <laughs> so yeah. So, so what did he roll damage? For? It's... Um, it's two d six, right? Yeah, two d six. Yeah, ten. Ten damage. Okay, so, uh, she gets plinked again. Uh, she's looking angry. She's not looking hurt enough to to be totally down yet, but she's looking very angry. Dodge um, knuckles. The, the, the scab bodyguard is like, okay, he runs for it and like leaps at her, like lifting his his, his little uh, spike bat in the air and bring it down her back. Uh, yeah, she succeeded. What the hell? Okay, um, that's that's an okay. So she she doesn't go down or anything, but she is now uh, crippled. Here's the problem. Like she's now down to to zero. Here's the pro. Here's the problem with that. Uh, her zero, like her, uh, her. She's Naluru. She's berserking. She will no longer oh. attempt to defend herself, but she is now frothing mad. Right. I'm not going to be taking those nice penalties that might have saved your life. Top of the order. Oh my boy. So, I'm enraged. That's fun. Yeah, you're you're also enraged. Actually, yeah, that's right. So you're only at a minus six because you're enraged. I uh, I don't. Because you're well, you're minus six for a taxi. Oh, your if I use my arm. Yeah, if you lose your yeah. arm. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. You can he kick says I need to use my arm. Yeah. You can, can I do that stupid anime thing of doing a flip and trying to hit you know, axe kick with my foot uh, or whatever? No, but you can like try and, you can try and like just. Kick her in the in like the back of the knee in order to try not. So to I can't try and axe. 
Not from a sitting, a laying down position. What? Oh, I'm in prone, aren't I? Yeah, you, you've been knocked to the ground. You can try and kick her. Wait, like, doesn't wait? Doesn't that count as like an action? Get up. Uh, yes, but like you're, you can. I'm going to let you uh, try and like. Currently, you're considered to be prone, but you can like just take a kick at her. I'll let you take that for free. Okay. 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 So basically what it is, is you would, uh, like, yeah, like, uh, normally what it would be is they'd have a, pl she'd have a plus five for trying to hit you on the ground while you're laying down. Uh, but you, you're fine to kick, you know, to get try and Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to force an opening then. Okay. Um, again, that she's, way. She's take no defensive actions against you, so, um. Oh, really? Yeah, because oh. she's berserking. Well, ne okay, neither yes. can you. Ne neither fine, you can take fine. defensive actions. Yeah. But force opening means that uh, that she must give up her uh, offensive uh, um, role. Okay, you, 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 you can't do it because, again, she's, like, forced to not be able to make an attack action. Plus, you're berserking, so you kind of want to hurt her Wait, right she's now. forced to not make an attack action? No, she's forced to not make defensive actions. Yeah, and? Oh, yeah, oh sorry. After declaring the... Uh, so this prevents her from making an offensive action, right? Yes. So she wouldn't be able to attack. Yeah, no. So you you, won't, you can't do that because she's enraged. Like, she has to attack. Uh, so you, you just have to hit her. Like, you can't, like, like force her into a position where she both can attack and has to attack at the same time. Why? Because that would be ridiculous. Well, no. No, if, <laughs> if I pin you underneath the car and you want to kill me, but... Doesn't mean okay. that you can still you can suddenly lift the car over your head. Okay, fine, fine. Uh, <laughs> wait, hold on. Uh, for, all right, went off. Um, and okay, then April fine. starts typing up new rules. No, no. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. I don't know how how them being enraged. Oh wait, no, no. Okay, so what? Is, yeah, so undoes in, this. Uh, oh, there, oh yeah, well, that's, that was a miss. Or did, I, I, if you if you mean that because I'm enraged, I oh, can't. Oh no, okay, hold on. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry no. So just to be clear here, like uh, I mistyped that thing. It's supposed to be they had to choose to give up either their offensive action or their defensive action because they aren't because allowed to make... they're, and because they are unable to make defensive no, action. They, they, they're already able to give up their they're, they're like it basically like they just be giving up their defensive action anyway. Uh, so like wait, it basically would have no effect. They get to decide, or I get to decide. What was it? They get to decide, or I they, get they, to they get to decide. Uh, hold on, actually, instead of doing blah blah blah, uh, the target At is considered to discretion. be off, uh, balance. Okay, yeah, okay. At the attacker's discretion. So actually, fuck it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You can do it. Yes, this means fine, that I can find fine, 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 fine. Yeah, roll for And it. since she can't make a defensive roll, I just have to succeed in, yeah. in okay, a regular. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna not use my arms for this. Yeah, you had to kick her. Uh-huh. Uh I, get, I get to kick her. <laughs> so okay. deal no damage. Okay. Oh, you'll, you'll deal damage. You just won't deal, like, cybernetic weapon damage. Fair enough. Yeah. Yes. Wait, do I? I thought it doesn't deal damage, because it says it in the book. Uh, okay. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah never mind. Yeah. No. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, and... Uh, so that's 24. Okay, well, she can't defend against it, so you uh, you successfully managed to get her to essentially be, like, knocked... Uh, yeah, she, she's knocked down and is on a, like is kind of unable to make an attack this turn. Okay. I'm not going to let you do that every turn, because, like... That oh, I'm in range. I'm going to probably try and get on top of her and start uh, waving my broken arms at her face. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> but, okay, so for, uh, for that turn, that's fine. Uh, then... Um, uh, so basically, both of you lose an action as you essentially like you knock her down. She yeah starts getting up. Ronnie, your turn. Um. So to clarify, she's down right now. She is <laughs> considered to be like essentially staggered, and she also cannot make a defensive action. And you can yeah. also continue your flurry at uh, a increased. Uh, negative of a minus five. But at the same time, you do two attacks if you succeed. Yeah. Do you want uh, to continue to flurry? And remember, you can always use a GFP to to help. Um. Well, you know, I was gonna say he can go after her with his club, but that only does one d four. So actually, I think it also does damage? stun damage only. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna keep shooting at her. <laughs> okay. 
Um, are you going to shoot her choice. once so that you don't have the penalty, or are you going to try and continue to shoot her multiple times? Um, and if I do a flurry, it'll be minus five, right? It'll be minus yeah. five for each attack. Uh -huh. Yeah. But if you use a GFP, you get a... Um, that, does it give you a plus ten to only one of those attacks? Only one of the attacks. Oh, okay. Then you, you might as well just roll a standard action if you use a GFP to increase damage. Uh, Wait, unless it doesn't work. It on guns. No, you, you don't get to. Uh, uh, turn. I, I know it works on melee, but I don't know if it works on guns or grenades or anything of that sort. Let me see. <laughs> we're, we're cracking open the rule book quite a bit on this game. I'm sorry. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, okay. GFP. P. P. Fuck. Blah, blah, blah. Blurg. Blurg, blurg, blurg. Blurg, blurg, blurg. Blurg, blurg, blurg. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um. No, I don't care about rebuying a ship. Um. Lovely level GFP. No, 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 no. Okay. Target fortune. Here we go. Uh, okay. Uh, these buzzers, blah, blah, blah. Spending GFP boosts a roll by 10 at uh, the final total. If used uh, for healing, the full healing effect does not take place till after the current fight or dramatic event has ended and represents the character shrugging off injuries that uh, in retrospect looked a lot worse than they really were. If used for a ship, the same is true uh, with the damage being mostly surface level. Uh, so no, you can't use it to boost your damage. You use okay. it to, to succeed in a roll or to shrug off damage or to yeah. prevent your ship from blowing up. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, then I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna continue the flurry and use that Boost thing. Um, GMP, I think you said it. Yeah, GFP. Yeah. It's it's yes. the equivalent of XP, but since we're probably not gonna get yeah. these characters into another game. Yeah, these characters okay. are probably their story will probably yeah. end here. Uh, okay, then I'm gonna use it. Um, oh roll. please, Ronnie, don't die. <laughs> seven, eight. So seven, eight. Five, eight, seven, it's fifteen, so twenty, and then the other one is. That's a success. Yeah, you just, need to, hit, you just need to hit twenties. Just as long as you hit twenty, you're good. Okay. Because she can't defend against it. Yeah. Um, and then. See, 10, April. Now we're in a classical D and D game. <laughs> eighteen plus five is twenty. Three? That's it. Yeah. Both succeed. Oh, so I don't even need to use the nope. GFP. Yep, you, mm -hmm. you succeed. Roll, uh, roll forty-six. Swanky manky. Nice. Four. Oh man, this duel is is Six. cheap. I'm <laughs> cheating. <laughs> yeah, like, like, like the duel was like you ran and slashed her, got like slashed her pretty Six. bad. Then she smashed you into the ground, and then your friends just start shooting her over and over again. Eighteen. 18. Fuck, okay, yeah. She's not dead, but she's close. She's got like... like yeah, she's like covered in bolts. Oh, she's riddled four with shots. Bolts. She's like panting as she starts like, 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 just like looking at you. And from behind, you actually see assassin robots starting to like... No! Oh! Like, no. And, and the, um... All the, the scabs are just like, like going crazy. Going like, trying to like hit the buttons as fast as they can. <laughs> You start seeing lights flickering on around you. Um, it's like, oh shit! Like, all right, we almost got it, almost got it, almost there, almost there, almost there. Um, it is now the bodyguard's turn. Uh, the bodyguard is like, okay, um, crap, 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 crap. He's a swing. He misses. <laughs> he swings <laughs> wide. So like the swing swirls around in a circle, and as he does, he he sees the robots and goes ah. It looks around for something to seal the entrance with, but there's nothing to seal the entrance with because you just rip through his barricades. And they're like, they're coming closer. They'll be here soon. Are they coming like, through the torn like, door? Yeah, through the torn door. And their claws are like. Can out they and... fit through the. Oh, yeah. The oh, yeah. They're, they're, they're thin. They're thin little buggers. 
They're a lot smaller than she is. Uh, and at the top of the order, Chloe, you're on the ground, you're bleeding, but you're also furious. Oh, fucking... Wait, uh, is... is uh, boss's kid is still alive, right? Yeah, yeah. In Rip fact, and like, tear. Yeah, do you want to... Do, how many good fortune points do you have left? I, uh... I have... Two. This would be a good time to use one of the two remaining ones to basically give you... Oh, yeah, to I'm gonna do to that. Me. I'm gonna fucking rip open her yeah. fucking face okay, go until first. she dies. Um, until she super dies. So, basically, you're at a plus four... Hmm? You're, you're at a plus four because you're like your arms are crippled, but you're also yes. like using a, a a good fortune point to like power through it. Mm -hmm. And so plus four, plus eight, plus five, twenty-four. Okay, and she can't make a defensive roll, so that's just enough. That's so, eleven damage right in her face. Yeah, and she did not have eleven damage to spare. So what happens is, like, as, like, she gets up and she starts, like, like, she gets out of your kick, she starts, like, stamping towards, uh, Ronnie and, like, raises up her giant claws. But before she can, like, attack, uh, Chloe, your clawed hand, like, metal clawed hand, like, rips through her, her you know, gut. And, like, <laughs> Johnny up. Cage. <laughs> yeah. Johnny Cage style, like, punch, you, like, 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 Kano style, you punch straight through her heart. Like, pull her heart out through her body and then rip it back out again. And she, like, oh. staggers and smashes to the ground. Oh. <laughs> well, okay, then. The scabs are like, what the fuck? And the engineer is like, wait, hold on. And suddenly the lights go on all over the like all over the ship, and they the shaman robots look around. And then they start charging forward, and their like claws are outstretched, and they start like pressing buttons. And like the shamarins charge at you, roll roll initiative. The shamer like this horde of shamarins has and bots are charging at you, claws raised. Oh boy, this is death. Oh my god, Jesus rolls, not the best. What do you get? Uh, 17. Oh, wait, no, wait, wait, sorry. 15, because I forgot okay. about the fucking... All right, uh, what do you get? I, I always think it's a 2D yeah. down. Uh, Bean, what do you Nine. get? Nine. Nine. Uh, okay, so... So... Oh, How boy. many of them are there? Lots. <laughs> um, so, Blue, Fuck, you go first. Bro. Oh, God, what the fuck am I gonna do? Yeah, you're, like, standing there, you're bleeding pretty bad, you're, like... You, you you are in terrible shape. You gotta uh, succeed yeah. somehow, right? Yeah. Uh, how how close are the fucking? They're they're like pouring in, like they're almost on you. No, I mean not them. I mean the the scabs. To actually you're not sure. They're they're furiously like pressing buttons and trying to like. Fucking! Well, I gotta stall as much time as possible. So, I fuck. What what can I? Do? You can sell your life dearly to buy them time. <laughs> this is this is not great. Um, fuck. Uh, uh, I wish I had guns, but <laughs> then I could just. <laughs> no, well, but, they uh, gave us a gun when we got to the compound. You have I, one. I don't. They said that they gun. handed it off. Oh, it's both one. Did they? No, I don't have that in here. Oh. I think I think I said I was okay because I had a spear. Um, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna... <laughs> Regrets! Run. Okay, time to run in, use my last GFP to fucking... To, to try and hold, hold them back. Alright. So, what, what, do you, what do you do? Like, just, like, throw in and then, like... Use one last like big slash to try and just like take out one of the robots. Ah uh, yes. Okay. So yeah, roll. So you like leap in, Chloe. Like like, you know like. Oh, two nines. Oh wait, this is gonna be bad. Yeah. Oh. So, oh. Chloe, you uh you charge in, roll damage. Well, let's see the. Okay. Yeah, and I get, get a plus four because yeah. of the uh, the fact that I still have a minus six on my. Yeah. 
and big swole arms. So, so roll your damage, roll your damage to see what they get. Oh, you, you, you still do full damage with your claws. Okay, I, my, well my roll ends up being a 30, a positive yeah, so 30, you, you, you hit and then I yeah. do 11 damage. Okay, so you like rip into one of the robots, like it, it's hurt bad and it staggers back. But as you do so, you, you stumble and like you feel shamering claws like wrapping around you. Like on all sides as they start to like tear at you and you realize that in about a second they're going to rip you to pieces uh it's the bots turn and the bots you know start to pull at you and you feel like you know you feel their claws digging into you as you're slowly pulled apart and then just last second they stop they stop they stop Hello? oh okay you, you cut off right yeah, at the last yeah the, the, the bots just stop and they're all staring and they're all staring at you Mm-hmm. They're not saying anything, Three. they're just staring at you. Can I get yeah, their arms out of my body? You can, you can, yeah, you can, like, pull yourself free. It's pain I'll, I'll do it. that. Yeah. Uh, Ronnie? Uh, the, the bots have stopped. Um... Well, he's still ready to, like, fire if need be. Okay. He turns to the, um... To the scabs and is like... Oh, I'm enraged. Can I still it? tear them apart? Yeah, you can still start punching them. Yes. Uh, the the scabs are like their like eyes are like like bulging out as they like turn and look at you and then look back at the thing and then look at the computer console, look back, like back forth, back forth, back forth, and then they start screaming like yes, yes, yes. <laughs> We're not dead. <laughs> yes. I love, I love this shot. <laughs> It's it's them screaming in joy as as there's like as uh, as Chloe's ripping apart Roomba. Yeah, like Chloe's and like, you're, you're, both her arms broken, is just like head butting robots, kicking robots, like shoulder checking robots. Yeah, and Ronnie's just kind of w- laughing from shock and from the scabs and just relief. He's just laughing. They're like, okay, we we got them in standby mode. They're in standby mode. They will not attack. They will just stay there. They will stay there until further orders are given. Well, okay. okay. That's a... Uh... Oh, that was really close, guys. They, they, they nod. And, like, one of them faints. Oh, no. The bodyguard walks over and is like, um... We should probably stop your friend Chloe before she gives herself a heart attack. She is in the desperate need of medical attention. You have an excellent point. You see, I don't know how to make her stop, though. So. Uh, well, you, gotta, you just gotta wait until the robots are gone. <laughs> Chloe, yeah. roll, roll, me, uh, roll me D10 plus grits. Oh, yeah, true. 1D10 plus grits. Yeah, 1D10 plus grits. Oh, that's a nine. Okay. okay, a nine plus five. That's fourteen. So, so Chloe, you feel your heart pounding in your chest, and it like feels it's actually starting to hurt. And then suddenly, like you're like you're the adrenaline starts draining from you, and you collapse and like uh, like into the like outstretched murder claws of one of the things. Like not not in a impale yourself way, but like in a it basically is like giving you like a, a almost like a hug, except it's not. It's trying to stab yeah. you, but can't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's trying to stab you, but can. Um, okay. Um. Well, there you go. Guess that's that. The uh, one, the the scab bodyguard walks over to uh, Chloe as you as you're panting and gives you the clothes you ripped off in order to go into your big duel. And it's like you might want to put these on before go back outside. It's still very windy. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna. Ronnie's gonna go up and see what he can do in terms of bandaging her up. Okay, yeah, you can um, you can make another attempt at, at medicine here. Yeah. Like, Is it just two D ten and yeah. plus medicine? Plus medicine plus brains. Oh sweet. Uh, nine plus eleven twenty twenty eight. Okay, roll D four. Just one. Just one D four, yeah. Four. Okay, Blue he'll twenty. He'll four. 
<laughs> Sorry, you know, four hit points. You know, twenty hit points now. Uh, <laughs> Don't I get a from vulnerable? Uh, no, because this well, is inside. Well, what does that this put is... you at? Hmm. What does that put you at? How much do I heal again? Uh, four points of damage. And, and not vulnerable. Negative be- six. Oh uh, yeah, it's not vulnerable because um, she's not actually using. He's not using uh, healing. Oh, on healing on you. For a second, I thought. Yeah, you know, he, he's yeah. just like bandaging up your wounds. Yeah. Um, yeah, negative six. Like, okay. she, she will she will live. Don't worry, we'll get her proper medical attention when we get back to ship. Yeah. Okay. We should leave quickly, though. It, um, that one being dead going to mean very many problems. Yes, well, I just want to make sure, though, um, and Ronnie turns to the other scavs, did that put all of these robots on standby, like the ones that are sabotaging the compound included? The scabs not like probably yes. Probably yes. Is there anything we should take in case that that probably isn't a yes? Uh yes. Hold on. They punch in some numbers on the thing and basically print out a sheet like this if you get back to people, you get back to your people, they will be able to come to Colony and deprogram any remaining robots that are causing problems. Great. Um... Finally... I think we could use these robots to show everyone that it was the robots who were doing things, not... Um... This idea is Red good Tooth. Let's, uh, let us take a couple of robots, yes. Yeah. We should take some of these to, as proof that it's not Red Tooth that was sabotaging everything. Yeah. So you collect a couple of the robots and head back to your uh, car. Yes. Uh, and uh, you know the, the drive back is significantly easier, despite the fact that it is now in the middle of a sandstorm. But like, the the real bad storm hasn't hit yet. Okay. Uh, and as you uh, as you get back in, like uh, like a Chiron. Medic, uh, you know, medic team rush over to get Chloe because like they're like, oh shit, she's she's in terrible shape. Uh, but yes. you're you're able to show the governor the robots that you uh, found, the deactivated robots, and while well, mortified and, uh, and kind of reluctant, she agrees to release Captain Redtooth uh, since, well, you found the actual culprits, and executing her at this point would be extraordinarily uh, <laughs> like bad. Yeah. It breed more problems than it would solve. Yeah, like so uh like Chloe, you're you're healed back to zero by the doctors. Uh well, you're yes. not able to stay long enough to recover fully, but they, they give you enough of a patch up that you're no longer like horrifically crippled. Mm-hmm. And they You're no longer going to just immediately start killing things when I Yeah, yeah. Like well you once your enrage uh ends you'll you're relatively True, but if like, someone takes a fight if, Yeah, yeah. You you you'd probably get pretty angry pretty fast. But they they heal you up, you manage to get uh you know, released from the hospital with some serious like bandaging and some serious like splints and stuff, but you are actually walking out of your own power. Ha <laughs> ha uh, and, Victory. Uh, yeah, as you uh, as you leave, uh, you meet up with uh, with uh, with Ronnie and Captain Redtooth, uh, and the the captain. Ronnie, you shouldn't have shot her. Shot who? The red. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Okay, so what you're saying is that in my blind rage, I I killed her all by myself. Absolutely, the bodyguard dude can back me up. Captain Red too looks at you, kind of scans, and then just nods. Yes, he says uh, he says you sh- you you know ripped her apart, killed her real good. 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 Speaking of which, I have heard many rumors that apparently the mob is planning on having you both executed in retaliation for the death of the boss's doctor. Well, if I can kill one of them, I can kill all of them, eh? We're gonna leave now. Yes. I would recommend, that I, you know, especially given the fact that you have done such a good service to me that you come with me on my ship. It will prevent your... Uh, 
escort from exploding in midair as you leave the planet, if you understand what I am saying. I'm good with that. Yeah. Yes. Don't worry, you have done a good turn for me, and I will not allow these mafia brats to assassinate you because of it. It's very kind of you, Red Tooth. Mm-hmm. She nods. <laughs> First Made Fancy Hat is very impressed with you. Very happy. Mm-hmm. Might uh, need to. She, she looks directly at Chloe and says, uh, Might even actually, t- you know. Uh, make a uh, move to assist your uh, organization. Didn't really believe in it before, but I must admit, you make a strong point. You make a strong argument for them. Nods. (laughs) Well, that sounds awesome. (laughs) Excellent. Come with me back to ship. We will leave soon. And uh, you you do, and as you uh, as you do, like uh, you are the ship explodes and we all die. No, no, no the ship is fine. <laughs> you, uh, you, you... One of the Aluru was in disguise as a scav. Oh shit, a hairy no. scav. Oh um, god, no. fuzzy scav. <laughs> Uh, you, 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 um, you, you, as you look, like take off into space, you uh, you know get dropped off with a large uh, cruiser, like a, a big heavy cruiser, uh, and you're you're. Escort past a number of military-looking officers and soldiers in blue uniform, and uh, brought to the office of a uh, of a you know rather rather impressive-looking Chiron uh, female wearing a like wearing like well, she's still wearing a blue uniform, but it's got like a golden sash and uh, you know she's got little little uh, little glasses on. She looks over both of you and says. Uh, Chloe, Chloe, you are alive. This is good. I was worried hey. about you. Mm-hmm. You did good work down on the planet. Well, I did. Yeah. Both of you did. Lenny, yeah. I must say I was somewhat skeptical of your application when I fir- when it first came across my desk, but you uh, you and Chloe have done excellent work. Why? Thank you. It was a uh, quite the adventure. It was. I'm sure you'll both be wanting some time off to rest and recuperate, but I think that we might have a place for you both after all. All right. Great. Good. Excellent. We'll discuss this more at a later date, but for now, you, uh, you, Chloe, should get to the medical ro- to the medical ward. We'll. Take care of the, uh, no, the injuries you sustained, and Ronnie uh, will need to get you initiated. But I think you are both going to have a very long and very happy life here with us. Guarantee you the accommodation, the uh, the rewards will well, you know, will well, uh, you know, benefit you for, or will well, uh, compensate you for the risks you've taken. All right, thank you. Uh, salutes. Um. She salutes back. I just picture Chloe like actually saying salute. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. Ronnie salutes as well. She waves off, and you uh, you head off. And as uh, the yes, yes, out, yes, 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 yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they, they, they pan out. We see like uh, like the the ship kind of like we go through the window, and we see the ship uh, has a huge like blue uh, like like a weird logo that Ronnie you had never seen before but but is now going to be very familiar to you it's a you know like a skull like a a Luru skull with uh, you know like a Chiron uh, arms around it it's uh, and it uh, you know Chiron mandibles yeah Chiron mandibles on the sides and you know like uh, it uh, you know like it it, as the ship takes off you see several more ships with the same logo uh, you know, the sailing insignia, you know, uh, converging to meet with it as you enter into a much larger fleet uh, and head Are deeper the into the frontier. <laughs> I mean, that's... just saying we have a skull. Yeah. <laughs> a giant skull on your on the side of your stuff. Uh, 
there's a there's a reason for it, but you will you will not find that out quite yet. But for now, just know that you have uh, you've taken your that Ronnie and Chloe have uh, secured themselves a position with a very powerful organization. And will have uh, like their their uh, their lives of adventure are far from over, but their uh, their story, as we will see it, is done for now. I I think like next time you guys will be playing very different characters, but. Uh, that is it. That is the that is the mysterious the not so mysterious fate of of Arthurian as it turned out. Uh, I was really expecting the colony to die, but you guys you guys surprised me. Ha! Did it? Uh, we saved a colony. Yes, you've saved the colony. You've uh, you've ensured that the scabs are not going to revolt. Uh, you and you helped to destabilize the Aluru mob. Uh, pretty much, this is the best outcome you guys could have gotten. So congratulations. Uh, nice. Now, uh, obviously, that's, this is the end of this story, but uh, keep your ears open, because uh, Belial and Bean are not done adventuring just quite yet. We'll see them again soon, very soon. Bean will be joining us in other regular games, even soon in er Soon in See you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>